Virgo, thank you for joining me for your mid-April reading. Just a little update to see how we're going this month. Oh, okay, so we already have two cards that want to come out for you. Just to see kind of what's on the way and see if there's anything that we can advise you about. So you have the Nine of Swords. What's keeping you up at night, Virgo? What's making you um, not get enough rest? Why are you anxious this time? Are you feeling like there's boundaries in place and you can't get over them or you keep banging your head against a certain direction? Is there too much on your plate right now that you feel like you have to solve? I feel like some of you are on the same boat as Cancerians, to be honest. It feels as though, like, um, how to put it? It feels as though people are having a lot of expectations of you. So this is you sacrificing your comfort and satisfaction in order to help others. I feel as though you are very natural healers, albeit you are more practical healers and problem solvers than Cancerians. But I do believe that there's something coming in here to give you a sense of a bit of anxiety, you know? I get the fact that you want to help people, but please don't let it be at the expense of yourself. Because the Queen of Wands comes through here to say either you are going to inhabit this particular energy this month, or this is kind of somebody going to come in to help you. With her, I feel like it's a very exuberant, vibrant energy. She sometimes doesn't know where things are in the nest. You know, she has a very rugged system, but the system works for her. She may be on just on time. You know, you think, oh, well, it starts at seven. She's there at five to seven or something like that. It just feels like really on the wire. I've known some Leos some Sagittarians, some Aries, some, you know, people with heavy fire signs in their chart to be very disorganised to at the outsiders and certainly maybe in appearance to Virgos, um, but they are very, very aware of what they need to do. Now, it could be that you're inhabiting a bit of this personality this month and you feel like you are a little bit disorganised, but the thing is, within this card especially, she is believing in the impossible. You know, unicorns are a myth. But unicorns are kind of like, I think, represented now as that very special, unique, um, almost oh, fairy tale thing that you're never going to get. That's your unicorn. You are a nice man. <laughs> you know, that's your unicorn. So it could be that you find something in yourself that you didn't think you had. You thought was a myth. You know, you thought it was just something that couldn't be done. You do it. I think that this is kind of anxiety over what if this doesn't work or what if I don't find my unicorn. I think the main thing is that you need to give help to yourself as well. And that doesn't necessarily mean killing yourself at the gym. It doesn't necessarily mean um, sacrificing something that you've always wanted to do in order to have a day off. It just means making sure that you are taking the time to address your anxieties rather than drowning them. And that's all you need to do. Address the anxiety get over it with and then just carry on because the card that you have is spread your wings this one says do not hold back right now the timing's perfect and you are ready to soar so it's kind of like yeah you're probably worried about changes that are coming up maybe you are planning something like a trip or a birthday party or a wedding or something and you're like oh i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> I don't know what to choose, there's too many options, I don't want to please everyone, you know, I want to make sure that everyone's included in this, I don't want to leave anybody behind, just do it, if it's in your best interest, just do it, who cares, what will the people may care, but it's your, your life, your journey, your personal, your personal vocation, nobody else's, and I think that if you make too many amendments if you make too many compromises for other people who at the end of the day won't be as big a voice in your journey at the end of it for instance if you say oh um a friend from college wants to come over at some point and i have to clean the house and it's not ready and i can't do this and oh my gosh you know why should you do that if it's going to compromise everything or you know i'm making allowances to make them more comfortable or my parents can't possibly travel to nova scotia to come with me for my wedding um or this birthday party or this extravaganza or this presentation so i must not go then i must make it but he's like but it's something that you've always wanted to do if it's something that you've always wanted to do spread your wings if it's something that is really, really ingrained in you, 
spread your wings. I'm a very big believer in taking what is rightfully meant to be your journey and not having to make too many compromises. Yes, it can be selfish on to the outsiders who think, oh, well, you know, but no is a very spiritual word. No and learning when your energy is and needs to just be protected is incredibly spiritual. Yes, can be a very spiritual word as well. You're accepting new opportunities. But if you're shutting them away because of somebody else's or fear of somebody else's emotions going a bit overboard, I don't think this is the right track. I think you just need to become more of a Leo Aries or Sagittarius for the rest of this month. Become more proactive and punchy and demand what is rightfully yours. I think it's time to do that Virgo. But let me know in the comments below how things go for you. If you'd like a reading, all the information you need is below and you can also buy me a coffee to support the channel. But thank you for commenting, liking, sharing and subscribing and I'll speak to you guys very very soon. Take care.